myself on YouTube for hours looking at SSRS documentation, other database videos, just informational videos about databases, data sets, queries, SQL, all that stuff. And I find that we're always looking at a computer screen and that's the problem with techie people. We don't come from behind the computer and talk face to face. So that's what I'm going to try to do. No promises because when the Walking Dead comes back on, I may have to scrap, <laughs> scrap off this, but I'm going to try to come from behind the computer and actually talk face to face as if we were actually interacting instead of just via email, via pod, ping, whatever your company calls it now, and talk one on one. So. Um, this is a nerd alert, nerd alert, nerd alert. We're going to be talking about technical stuff. I have a friend that whenever I start talking about something like if I have a joke, she'll say, wait, is this a math joke? <laughs> so, <laughs> this is a warning. It's not a math stuff, but it's going to be technical stuff. So if you want to pause or stop now, this is your time. <laughs> this is your time. So this is what I'm looking to do. I am looking to convert um, the Excel reports that this company um, that I have a contract with, I'm looking to convert their Excel reports to SSRS. And they already have all of their basic single tab, like five column, 16,000 records reports. Um, they already have those reports converted. Now they need the difficult stuff converted, the complex stuff, the ones with formulas and a bunch of other things. Um, so my mission is to find a way to convert these reports that have 26,000 or um, 26 or more columns, 30,000 records, five or six or seven different tabs. And not only do that, but to have a week over week comparison. So that's what I'm on a mission to find. Using a snapshot in SSRS, um, you can't really change the underlying data set. You can only change what's viewed. So your new report can only have the criteria of the original report. And for the reports that I want to convert, um, the different tabs have different criteria. And you can't do that with a snapshot. What I did find is that you can have multiple data sets in one SSRS project. Um, so, so you start off with a sing single project and you have your first Tablix 1 and you have your data set 1. You drag over the, the fields from data set 1 into Tablix 1. But you can also create a new data set um, with Tablix 2 and drag in the fields from data set 2 into Tablix 2. In Tablix 2, right click and select new page break at the start of this Tablix. So that will give you the new tab that you want in your new report. Um, the only note is you have multiple data sets, but you can't combine data sets into one tablet and tablet. So data set two cannot go into the tablix of data set one, and data set one cannot go into the Tablix with data set two, um, so one or the other. But the good thing is that you can have multiple tabs inside of an SSRS report, and you can have multiple data sets inside of an SSRS report. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks.